This computer terminal provides full access to the Elcar's computer net. The sound of a big bore four-stroke at full throttle. It symbolizes power, and it is power for 1983. More than ever before. Ah, the good old days is what older people always say when presented with anything new that doesn't meet their expectations while complaining they don't make them like they used to. When it comes to modern dirt bikes, there are certainly so many amazing bikes to choose from, now more than ever. Killer suspension, fire breathing engines, and fuel injections are the culmination of decades of evolution in dirt bike technology and complexity. But there are some of us who yearn for a time when things were simpler. Yeah, hold on. I forgot to put in the crystals. Okay, turn it on. When dirt bikes were bulletproof. When you think of a bulletproof design with rock solid reliability and just an all around great dirt bike, chances are you're thinking of a Honda XR. The Honda XR line were indestructible, air cooled, lightweight dirt bikes, and why Honda abandoned them, probably due to EPA restrictions, I don't know. Because if they made them now, I bet they would sell like hotcakes. And I would definitely have one in my stable. But what if there was a modern XR? Well, you guessed it, there is, and it isn't made by Honda either. It's made by GPX, the GPX FSE 250E. Who's GPX? Who are you? It doesn't matter who we are. What matters is our plan. Chances are by now you've heard of them as their market share grows year by year. But for those who are new to the channel or just curious who or what GPX is, I will give you a brief overview. The GPX home base is out of Utah and they offer many affordable enduro type dirt bikes that have reliable power plants, great suspension, modern frames, and quality builds that a working man can afford that don't suck. Kind of like Honda used to do. GPX has filled a gap in the market that many manufacturers have left wide open. Its time has now come. It's abandoned column. Check out the GPX website or Facebook page for more info. Or better yet, check my channel out as I have a lot of GPX content on it. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go and gauge. the GPX FSE 250E and all its air-cooled goodness with a new color scheme for 2022. Okay, here are the specs. She has an air-cooled 250cc four-stroke two-valve single cam counterbalanced engine with electric start, carburetor, six-speed transmission, a lightweight central backbone chromo A-box frame, SCZ suspension with rebound, compression adjustment in both the front and the rear, 37 inch seat height, 2.5 gallon fuel tank, and she comes in at 246 pounds. This bike is basically an upgraded XR with a modern frame, suspension, and e-start. I've owned many modern bikes that are liquid cooled and have fuel injection, and while it is nice, I really wanted a simple air cooled bike with carburation that would just work without all the electronics and more things to break on the trail. I once had my radiator punctured on the trail in another failure that a tusk temperature radiator cap that failed leading to a blown engine in the middle of a state forest. 
both times had me longing for a Honda XR in those situations. Now that I've owned the bike and broke her in properly on a few dual sport event rides that are dual sport in name only, I've been able to give her a proper review. This 250cc air-cooled engine is an absolute gem. At no point in the rev range am I wondering where the power or torque is, it's just there. From first to sixth gear she has pull and can lug up any hill with ease. It's a very torquey 250 and linear in personality. It's controllable. Okay, you know what? I want you to think about your future at this company. I want you to think about it long and hard. That's what she said. Did you do that? No, it's not a fire-breathing wheelie machine, but it is adaptable in every situation. This engine is good for beginner and advanced alike. The SEC suspension is fantastic. It's completely adjustable and the bike handles great. While not as good as WP suspension, it holds its own and gives the bike a planted feeling, which leads to rider confidence. I want to emphasize that this bike makes you feel confident when you ride because you can trust your bike at what it's going to do and how it's going to react on the trail. The frame is nearly identical to a Husqvarna frame which makes it feel like a dirt bike should. This is an enduro bike meant for trail riding and hard enduro. Not so much for dual sporting, although you can easily dual sport this bike and make it street legal. The brakes on GPX bikes are some of the best brakes I've had on a dirt bike. They are powerful and have great modulation. I've had many bikes where the brakes are unpredictable and grab too much or too little, making it hard to ride in technical situations. The quality on GPX bike builds are nearly on par with Japanese bikes. Every model year sees improvements and refinements from engines and suspension down to the little bolts that hold her together. The fit and finish show superior build quality through and through with no cut corners anywhere to be found. The great thing about all GPX bikes is that they come well equipped and the FSE 250E is no exception. You really don't need to buy anything else like you would for a typical Japanese bike. It already comes with a skid plate, hand guards, decent tires, o-ring chain, brake disc guard, and amazing enduro rims. Not to mention it comes with a beautiful LCD speedometer that has an RPM indicator and gear selector. The only thing I would personally change is the flag type hand guards to full wraparounds. Another great thing about the 250E is it comes with a dual sport kit so you can make it street legal. It's plug and play and easy to do. cars just get to the point is this a good dirt bike or not it's not a good dirt bike it's a great dirt bike from the very first time I twisted the throttle I like this bike I've had it at three dual sport events with hundreds of miles of riding single track double track rock gardens and hill climbs oh my and the bike just eats it up and it asks for more punishment the torquey engine is really nice, especially when climbing insanely steep hills and coming out of tight turns in wooded single track. It just pulls nice. Now it's only a 250, so don't expect it to be a 400, but as far as 250s go, it's solid. I'm never wanting for power and the engine sounds very throaty like a dirt bike should. The suspension and frame feel like a dirt bike should and I feel confident when I'm on the saddle of the 250E. It's very light feeling and flickable on the trail, surprisingly so, which makes it a very easy to handle, especially in technical situations. One more bite of Eclair each. Hold it in your mouth if you can't swallow. Really? Nothing. It's very light feeling and flickable on the trail, surprisingly so, which makes it very easy to handle, especially in technical situations. I also love the way the bike looks. With an air-cooled engine, she's a primitive, sexy-looking beast. I don't think she's quite as sexy as a Honda XR, but she'll do. So, Elkars, do you recommend the FSE 250E? Yes, the GPX FSE 250E gets an Elkars ADB N-Gage rating. And I would buy this bike again. It makes a great primary bike or a workhorse backup in case your KTM is getting its 20-hour engine rebuild. 
I wanted a simple air-cooled dirt bike without any of the frills and my expectations were far exceeded. Come on Alcars, I don't even know who GPX is. What about parts and where do I buy the bike? GPX specific parts are usually in stock and easy to get with a phone call to GPX with quick shipping from Utah. You can either purchase directly from GPX and have them ship the bike crated to you from Utah or buy one from a dealer. I personally have purchased all three of my GPX bikes straight off of GPX's website and had them shipped to me. It was a pleasant experience with no hiccups. The difference between the two is when you buy from a dealer, the bike will be set up and assembled. When you purchase in crate form, you take the setup process that any other brand dealer would do when the bike arrives. See my GPX setup videos to check out the setup process as it's very simple to do. If you could turn a wrench, you can assemble a GPX bike. I really do think the 250E is a worthy successor to the Honda XR line. It ticks all the boxes and lacks in no department. It's a reliable, simple air-cooled bike with a modern design. What more could you ask for? Of course, if Honda decided to re-release the XR with E-Star, I would be first in line to get one. But in reality, we already have one available. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. As always, live long and ride.